guys, I just got out of the train station and I walk into IKEA. So this is the first time I'm actually taking <laughs> public transport to IKEA because normally I go with friends and they'll drive and uh, it's been an adventure. So my goal here is to um, you know get some codes from IKEA about getting the kitchen done and I'm gonna see if it's uh, any stuff could help me around and so see what's new in the range. So my relationship with IKEA is a bit of a of hate relationship. Everywhere, every time I travel, I'm always going to IKEA, and it's quite. Uh, you know, while I'm sick of going to IKEA, but I'm always have to make some form of trip over here. So yeah, so let's head to IKEA and see if there's any stuff that can help me, um, giving me advice for the kitchen renovation. So yeah, so I'll see you guys. Over here, Ikea. I just got an appointment with the uh, IKEA uh, stuff and so because things have changed somehow and last time during the pre-COVID days I used to be able to uh, meet the IKEA stuff and talk to them about it and do the design and layout but now things have changed so I've they booked me an appointment for next week Friday at 1 p.m. Uh, to go through my plans and what kind of kitchen do I want and everything so kind of look forward to that and just uh, yeah, some things have changed. It's not the same again, but yeah, we'll see. So, kind of uh, looking forward in a way the, to make uh, to do another kitchen, even though. <laughs> so that's my trip to IKEA today, and I'll see you guys later on. Hey everyone, um, it's the twentieth of August. I've just finished vlogging about an hour ago. And um, yeah, it's been quite an intensive uh, week in the sense that I've been doing a couple of vlogs uh, recording and I finally finished and just in the last hour, I called Bunnings and I've confirmed the order and the cabinets are going to go. So made the deposit, it's going to come within four to six weeks. Um, yeah, how am I feeling right now? I, I guess I'm just kind of feeling a bit, you know, uh, well, I guess it's mixed feelings. Yeah, that's bittersweet in the sense that this uh, kitchen has been with me ever since I moved to this apartment for about 15 years now. And um, yeah, now I'm saying goodbye and I'm going to have a new kitchen, but I'm not going to be enjoying this kitchen when, you know, for long once it's done. But it has to be done uh, before I leave Australia. And yeah, so kind of looking forward to the change. Although, yeah, I must say that it's been quite a journey in the sense that when I started um, planning all of this, I kind of assumed that everything would be quite similar. Um, like, you know, I, I personally, you know, about last year, I did a, uh, a kitchen renovation. So that took uh, about three months to complete. And um, it was quite straightforward in the sense that you know because uh, we ordered the kitchen from Ikea and Ikea came and they installed the kitchen all we need to do is just to tear down 
just to tear down the, uh, the, 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 the old kitchen. And Ikea will do the rest. Um, but in Australia, it's a bit different where it's been kind of, you know, it's been a quite a learning curve. That's what, what, that's what I'll say. Um, there's been some frustrations. So some, um, you know, a lot of things I've learned along the way where um, I thought it will be quite straightforward. It'll be the same kind of policies that Ikea and Dubai, Ikea and Singapore or everywhere else in the world I've done, uh, kitchen renovation. But in Australia, it works a bit different where you know, you order the, the kitchen uh, modular system and cabinets from Ikea, but everything else you have to arrange on your own. Um, and that was kind of a bit of a turn off because I was uh, kind of expecting uh, for Ikea to help. Uh, but, you know, obviously that didn't happen. Um, I have to search for my own contractors to deinstall the kitchen and reinstall all the cab new cabinets. And then I have to look for people who uh, will help with the uh, worktop and yeah so 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 in the end what happened was i went to uh so i thought well you know i need to find another quotation and i went over to bunnings and i i spoke to the guys and the guys were helpful and what even though bunnings didn't uh would not install the kitchen and i buy the, the, the set of kitchen from them the modular the cabinets from them however they have they are connected to the people who are doing the bench tops and also connected to the people who do the installation the deinstallation and installation of new cabinets so that helped a lot so now is the chance you know i've got a lot of uh things to do i thought that i'm gonna have a few weeks to rest after um you know doing this vlog um but now that i've made the deposit i paid 500 dollars for the deposit and the rest will come as uh, I have to make the rest of the payment when the cabinets arrive. So in the meantime, I have to select the fridge. I have to buy the fridge. I'm going to buy a new fridge. I'm going to buy a new tap sink. Um, yeah, the sink. Um, I'm going to buy a new induction stove. I'm going to install right over here. I'm going to install the uh, an oven. And a microwave on top yeah kind of looking forward in a way but it's so hard to say goodbye to this uh, chapter so, yeah so that's me and I've got you know the next few weeks will be you know me planning and buying all the appliances and arranging the builders to come and take down this this kitchen so basically I'm gonna have I'm gonna be without a kitchen for about one month <laughs> or so yeah but you know so yeah it's going to be a lot takeaway so no vlogging for that period <laughs> yeah so wish me luck and yeah i'll see what next oh there you go this is something i found in the uh in the cupboard I haven't used it for a long while. That's definitely gonna go to Lisbon. <laughs> day two of uh, packing up my stuff I'm feeling <laughs> quite exhausted actually um, but I think it's been good because um, you know I really get to see what stuff I've kept all over the years and you know some of these things I haven't seen at all for a very long while and it's also a good time to uh, to throw away some of the stuff that I haven't even used for more than 10 years uh, so this is the end of day two. I'm going to rest a bit because I'm feeling a bit exhausted now. Um, yeah, I'm going to continue on tomorrow again. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, it is Tuesday the 13th of October. Um, a lot of things has happened during the past week. Things were supposed to happen last week, but it got delayed. That's thanks because of the cabinets that 
uh, not able to arrive on time. Therefore, I had to delay the deinstallation of this whole kitchen. Um, they were supposed to arrive on Friday. Well, initially Tuesday, then Friday. Then I never heard anything from them. So I had to call them on Monday to find out what's happening. And finally, tomorrow, the new kitchen cabinets are coming. However, I have to put up with what I have over now. So I make space in the living room uh, for the new cabinets temporarily. And then once this is deinstalled next Monday, the new uh, kitchen will be installed. Uh, however, for the for the bench tops, the worktops over here, the, um, they will only be installed in about three weeks time. So that's going to be in like around mid November or late November. So time, that's going to be pretty tight for my departure uh, to Lisbon. Um, but so the great news is that things are finally happening. The appliances are coming on Friday. I'm oh, sorry, Thursday. And looking forward to have to have a new fridge, uh, to have a new cooktop, a new microwave oven, a new ov conventional oven, and so a new washing machine. So I'm so looking forward to that. Uh, I mean, I've I've been living with uh, in this kit. This kitchen has been here for more than 15 years. So it's time to finally say goodbye. Uh, while it's kind of sad in a way, it's sort of an end of an era, but it'll be nice to see a new update. So yeah, so I'm gonna say goodbye to this old kitchen uh, and so the YouTube studio. So you guys will see the new YouTube studio coming up in the next few weeks or next few episodes. So yeah, so with that, uh, signing off and let's see what happens in the next few days. I'll update you guys soon.